Bio at the buzzer making its return, but this time it is to TikTok. You guys have been showing insane love on the TikTok since I did kind of convert it over, so I figured why not? Let's start putting it in videos and getting more of you guys to come over. Basically, what the channel is going to be is me reacting to trades, reacting to comments you guys leave, and all sorts of different stuff that is sports related. So if you guys want to go check that out, the link is in the description down below. What is going on guys? It is your boy buyer 2 k and today man, I'm bringing you guys a video talking about the brand new EVOs here and a mistake I do not want you guys to make here when you guys are going through these EVOs. Basically what this video is going to be is the fastest way to go ahead and get through these EVOs and I think this is really going to help you guys out a lot because honestly like I've, I mean I've been only grinding them for a few hours now and I'm actually almost done, almost have obtained Blake already and it's actually been pretty good because like I said I've been doing them super efficiently so if this video does help you guys out anyway, be sure to leave a like and consider hitting that subscribe button as we are on the road to, uh, what, 80,000 subscribers? Yeah, somewhere around there. But either way, uh, yeah, so really quick, before we get into this video, I did just want to say a huge shout out and huge thank you to all you guys for all the love on the Facebook stream, man, today. Like, it was, like, actually really cool. We maxed out at over 200 viewers. You guys just went insane with the love and the support on the stream, and I really do appreciate you guys for that. So I did just want to acknowledge that a little bit here. If you guys ever want to pull up the streams, it's really easy to just go ahead and make a page so you don't have to use like your real name or anything and you guys can pull up hang out in the streams and yeah so enough of that though let's get into this video and talk about the brand new all-star event and the evos that did drop today so, like I said, going through it today, we did get the All-Star Evolution stuff as well as the All-Star 2022 stuff, which if you guys don't know, you guys can get the Disco Ball from completing this, and that does give you the Unicorn Ball, which actually does look pretty cool in the game, I won't even lie. But going into the All-Star stuff here, you guys can see, like I said, I have almost every single one done, <clears throat> except for the Pink Diamonds, which we actually did just get Paul Pierce done. We still need to do Jamal Murray, Bam Adebayo, Larry Nance, and then uh, Bob Pettit, and then we also just need to win the games uh, to get Dominique and Larry Bird. So pretty cool stuff here. Like I said, just a ton of different rewards. Now, with this sort of stuff, it's not like the moments of the month stuff where, you know, it's a little bit different, um, obviously, where, you know, going through the moments of the month, you obviously have to do different things, um, you know, where, uh, let's see, uh, moments of the month, like where you obviously have to, you know, get five blocks with a Kung Wu, 12 assists with, you know, composite, like stuff like that, right? You obviously don't have to do that, which is actually really good because, in my opinion, Evos really aren't that bad. It's kind of similar, but it's obviously a little bit different here. Now, looking at these different cards, you guys can see, again, I do have most of them done already. The only ones I need to do are Bam, Jamal Murray, Larry Nance, and Bob Pettit. So just kind of going through and looking at all this different stuff here, there's obviously different things that I think, you know, people should be paying attention to because different cards have different requirements, obviously. However, the online ones are extremely, and I truly mean extremely easy compared to the offline ones. Now, I know people are going to be like, bye, I don't like playing online. I can't stand it. I can't either. You guys know I hate playing online, especially in this game. I just, it drives me insane, man. I genuinely cannot stand playing this game. However, there is a stupid efficient way to go ahead, get through this game. That will really help you guys with, you know, just overall being efficient and just doing pretty good in this game. Now, the number one thing I'm going to be talking about is again, you know, the online game mode that you guys should be playing. And that is triple threat online. Now you guys can see it says limited, unlimited and triple threat online. And then it's a difficult, any obviously or difficulty, any, you can't change the difficult anyway, a difficulty anyway. Um, so when it comes to clutch time, I don't think clutch time counts because it doesn't, it isn't listed, but Either way, uh, Triple Threat Online truly is the best method, I think, in order to get a lot of this stuff done. The reason why is like almost every single game you go into, you will be able to match up with opponents that will literally just let you kind of score as long as you're giving them the win and everything. Like it really doesn't matter. Like that's how I've been able to fly through these because most people right now are doing these challenges. So when you guys do go online, like that truly is the best way to do it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hop into a triple threat online game. You guys can see I have 27 losses. I started this day out, I'm pretty sure, with 14 losses, I want to say. Obviously, I mean, if you're going to do this, it, you really can't care about your record all that much. Like, really, you shouldn't anyway. I mean, like, at the end of the day, it's a video game. It really doesn't matter that much. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and we're going to throw um, Bob Pettit here. We're going to throw in Bam and we're going to have Jamal Murray. And I'm going to show you guys, okay? I'm going to load up into a game. Again, I'm on current gen, so as long as I don't get 70 glitched, uh, there shouldn't be any cuts or anything here, which, I mean, it really wouldn't surprise me if I get 70 glitched or not. So we should be good there. So let's see what happens. Don't 70 glitch me, please. Come on. Don't do it. Don't do it. I know you're going to do it because I'm recording. Do not. 
Do and it's, it's is it doing it? I think it's doing it. I think I got 70. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, let's go. Never mind. Okay, I'll take that. So we're going up against somebody who has Dale Ellis, Rick Barry, and Derek Jones Jr. So this is a prime example of what I am talking about. My guy is going to be doing the exact same stuff I'm doing. Probably going to be shooting threes with Dale Ellis and Rick Barry. I'm probably going to lose this game because he's taking twos and or he's going to be taking threes and I actually need twos. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to flop right out the gate. I'm going to let him score. And it's literally as simple as this. Now, I know people again are going to be like, oh, that's stupid, blah, 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 blah. It's literally as simple as that. Now, he should in return... Uh, well, I guess I could just take the points with Jamal Murray. I was going to go ahead and score with Bam, but I mean, I guess that works too. I was really just going to go ahead and take those points. But you guys can see here, this is as simple as it is. Like, I'm being dead serious. Like, it really does work out pretty nicely. You know, you just flop, leave people wide open. They'll get their points. You'll get your points, and you will fly through this stuff. The only thing that is a little annoying is definitely going to be the rebounds. Uh, because rebounding, it, it kind of is irritating. I won't even lie. Like the rebounds, it, it does just kind of get stupid because especially with online, you're kind of, I really wish that was Larry Nance Jr. I'm not going to lie or Larry Nance. I mean, but uh, yeah, when it comes to rebounds, like you're kind of just, you know, playing on, I don't want to say algo, but you're playing on animations, especially in triple threat, like triple threat online. It gets a little weird with uh, some of the animations for sure. So, um, you know, you kind of just have to play around that. But as long as you know you're going through and you're just doing the different games, like you guys can see right here, my opponent can't green. I mean, that's I'm leaving him open. That's not really my fault. You know what I mean? But yeah, like he can't green. Okay, so now he's going to play defense on me for whatever reason, but it's all good. It's probably because he can't figure out how to score, but whatever. We'll just leave him open again. I don't care. What do you do? It just shoot the ball. Like, I, don't, I, just, I just don't understand. See, sometimes you play up against people like this that... I don't know. I, I get stunned a few times. I won't even lie. Like, I legitimately get confused wondering what the hell these guys are doing. So, um, so we're going to do this. We're going to get the ball right back down to Bam. He's going to leave me open. Easy dunks. We're going to get our assist, and we're going to get our dunk with Bam. Nice and easy. You know, like I said, just going through. And again, you, as long as you really don't care about winning games or whatever, like as long as you don't care if you're getting losses, this is really like the easiest way to do it because a lot of people, especially right now, now if you're watching this video like a week from now, there is a good chance that you might not, you know, go up against somebody as nice because they probably already have the cards. But I, even like, you know, weeks after Tatum and DeRozan and Booker, all those guys were already out. Like I was still trying to help people in clutch time and everything like that. So occasionally you will still be able to, you know, do this pretty nicely, but this really is the easiest way to go ahead and get these Evos done. It's super quick, super easy. Um, as long as you don't get like stupid things like that, where, I mean, obviously he's trying to let me score, but the game is still going to be dumb, bro. Clearly you see what I'm trying to do. Thank you. Okay. And one, let's go. Come on, bam. Ah, no, nah, I'm kidding. But all jokes aside though, like doing this stuff online literally will save you so much time because it's not only like, you know, doing it online, like regardless, like when you're doing this stuff online, it's not only like faster because like, obviously people are going to let you do what you need to do, but also the requirements are like so much less than what they are for offline. A prime example of this is Nate Robinson. Nate Robinson needs like eight dunks and like 12 threes or something like that, or maybe like the other way around, but it is something similar to that. And you need all of that stuff when you could literally just play online. And if you play online, the only requirements for online is to literally, uh, what's it called? The only requirements for online is to, um, what is it? It's to get two dunks. Like that is it. So you guys are gonna see right here, okay? I, I wasn't joking. Like you guys obviously could see, I got 16 points, three rebounds, but bam, which isn't bad. I'm gonna give him the win. Like I'm all about spreading positivity today. I'm gonna be trying to get as many of you guys as like as many of your you know Evo's done and everything like that. Like I've been playing a lot of games, and like I said, I've been giving people a lot of wins. I already have Kazzy, I already have Dan Issel, so there's really no need for me to like you know sprint through all these boards trying to get all these different rewards like i'm already good i don't care about taking losses however again another game done where you guys can see we are 12 rebounds away with bam eight points away jamal murray we got three points in him because he left me open for whatever reason that one time but then we also got nine assists so we're actually flying through these challenges bob pettit even got three points and a board too not too bad at all so i'm telling you guys just be efficient do your thing and you will actually have a lot of fun doing these evos and in the end of all of it you guys not only are going to be boosting your collector level a lot with all these different rewards cards as you guys can see here 
you get 30 additional cards um but you know you're also going to be getting a lot of good free cards in general to use you're also going to be getting um there's the other all-star stuff that you guys can go ahead and use now i know there's going to be people that ask where Kyrie is i'm still debating on putting something about Kyrie in the title because i, I do want to kind of acknowledge it in this video that Kyrie is obviously not a part of the all-star evo set here you know there's no Kyrie here there's going to be no Kyrie here obviously the completion is for the disco ball um, and there's nothing obviously in season agendas or anything like that. So I do think Kyrie Irving is going to have something to do with um, All-Star Weekend. And I do think it'll have something to do with, well, obviously All-Star Weekend, duh. But I do think, um, I do think Kyrie is going to be involved with the actual All-Star game. And I think like when the All-Star game, maybe Sunday, like the day it actually comes out, like maybe we actually get something then. But I do think it, it does have something to do with um you know that sort of stuff and it actually does say available until december 31st so this is going to be available to the end of the year which is pretty cool so i could see it either being done you know with uh like i said the all-star game or maybe one of the all-star events i don't really know but obviously we are going to be getting Kyrie at some point this weekend so be sure to stay tuned for that but yeah i hope this video did help you guys out and kind of give you guys an understanding like i said make sure you guys are just playing it online the biggest mistake you guys could do is do this stuff offline just like look at bam a prime example is bam and even jamal murray okay so bam out of bio for offline you would need 30 blocks 100 rebounds and two triple doubles or you could play online take the loss every once in a while get 30 rebounds 30 points in the paint super easy get done get it out of your way it's kind of a no-brainer in my opinion these cards are definitely worth doing it's a ton of free cards again to go ahead and use i hope you guys really did take this advice make sure you guys do punch in the locker code i'll put it in the comments of this video as well for today and as well as make sure you guys are grinding this a lot of people did overlook this there is this all-star nba challenge which is cool but in the spotlights the celebrity challenge also got an additional uh challenge here where you guys do get a free pack as well so make sure you guys are going ahead and doing that and uh yeah good luck hopefully you guys pull a dark matter thank you guys so much for watching and yeah peace